Hi folks, I'm from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's AT&T T-Mobile Canadian and SMN9005 and SMN900P. Uh, check out Alliance ROM. Uh, this ROM is actually built off the SMN9005 uh, international uh, firmware, but uh, this is also a ported version. This is my SMN900P. This is the Exynos model. Um, and also for the AT&T, there is a safe strap version uh, that's been tweaked to run on your AT&T Note 3, so it works just fine. And also, I installed the international N9005 version uh, on my T-Mobile Note 3. Now, to install it on T-Mobile or Canadian, you do have to flash a custom kernel such as Compulsion Kernel and uh, the Wi-Fi fix. Now, these ROMs are literally identical as in feature, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, one phone here and to show you all the different customizations. Now the first thing cool about this ROM, uh, it comes with a modded TouchWiz launcher that is super fast and also get you get a bunch of different themes. If you go here, um, you'll be able to uh, choose from 19 different themes. How cool is that, right? Um, so let's say if you want Color OS, uh, this is going to go ahead and give you a new theme uh, and this will change all of your icons. And if you want to change to another theme, simply go ahead and go here and switch to this uh, Sense 5 custom theme also. Uh, so this is a great way. Uh, if you get tired of your theme, you can go ahead and change on the go. You may get forced close, but don't worry. That only happens when you're changing themes. Uh, it's not a huge deal. Just try it again. And also my UI also. And for those of you eye holders out there, um, you can even go ahead and switch it to uh, iOS 7 theme. Ah, there we go. And uh, you can go ahead and switch to iOS 7 theme if you want to and turn your phone uh, into like an iPhone Note 3. Uh, let me go ahead and change it back to the Samsung Basic theme here. And let me go ahead and show you the rest of the stuff you can do on this ROM. Uh, pretty cool. If you go to settings here, you'll also find S5 UI. Um, and also download booster works uh, for all the variants. Next, let me go ahead and show you custom settings uh, where you can customize all the colors on your phone. Um, I've customized this slightly here. You can go to link colors here and uh, choose all these different options separately. And what you can do is let's say you want to change uh, your Wi-Fi icon uh, and your signal icon colors. Go ahead and do that, and that will switch it to color linked. And you can go to linked main theme color, and go ahead and choose your favorite color, let's say red here. I would turn off alpha and hit OK. Um, give it a couple seconds here, and it will switch automatically. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera real quick here. Uh, it, oh, it didn't change. Yeah, I will. It, it, it did change. It takes a little bit while. Um, and also, you can do this thing called color a day. And there you go, it switched now. And that will switch also. Uh, it will choose a new color for you every day. So every day you'll get a different color if you want to do that. Um, also, there's another way to change colors. Uh, if you go to unlink colors here, and let's say for toggles, uh, you want toggle uh, color to be red. Then go ahead and choose red. And off color, you want maybe like sort of light uh, red there. And that will also change your toggle colors, as you can see there. Um, so very nice way of customizing colors. Um, just go ahead and play with it, and you get the hang of it. It takes a little bit. Uh, other things you can do, if you go to the status bar and toggles, um, you can go to notification panel options, uh, enable a couple of cool stuff that you want to enable, such as I've enabled the CPU usage, um, and also recent button, sat settings button, um, lock button, you can go ahead and uh, enable those. Um, and let me go ahead and show you some more stuff with the status bar options. You can go ahead and change the clock style if you want. You can put it into the center if you want. Uh, if you want days of the week, you can go ahead and add that. Uh, some more stuff you can do with the drop down. Let's say you want to make the data up here bigger. Um, oops. You can do that, and that'll make it super big for those of you. Maybe um, nearsighted or farsighted, and you can't read it that well. Uh, what else is there? Signal options. You can go ahead and display the traffic, uh, which will show you how much internet uh, data you're using at any time. 
and a Wi-Fi icon type. You can even change it to, um, let's say, HTC if you want. Give it a second and it will switch. Um, also, let me show you how to restart the UI. Uh, if you go down here, restart, reboot, you can go ahead and restart uh, UI and which will actually apply some of this stuff you did. Sometimes it doesn't work, then you can go ahead and just do a full reboot and it will make the changes. Uh, let's go ahead and look, take a look at some of the other stuff you can do in the power menu. Uh, you can go ahead and enable a screenshot. There we go. And that will add screenshot uh, for easy screenshotting. And phone mods, you can go ahead and set auto recording. There is call recording on this ROM. Let's go ahead and call prank call 411 here real quick and record the conversation here. Um, so for those of you who want to record some of your conversations, there we go. You can go ahead and record it. And that's the dialer there. And also lock screen. Uh, you can go ahead and change your lock screen to AOSP if you want to. All right. And that will make it into AOSP. I don't actually like that that much. Um, what else is there to show you? General mods. System mods. Uh, you can change all of your animations here. For example, whenever you app, uh, open a app or whatever, you can go ahead and slide in from the right, left, uh, task open, right, oops, and uh, no fade left, and that will change it. We'll see in a second here. Also, you can go ahead and enable 360 degree uh, rotation. All right, and with TouchWiz launcher mods, you can go ahead and enable scrolling wallpaper, uh, also, touch with rotation on. You can also do the theme change here, which is the same thing I showed you earlier. And this NFC mods, you can go ahead and have NFC on uh, with the screen off if you want to. And also, let's go ahead. That's pretty much it, I think, actually. Um, so, very nice way of customizing your phone. Uh, overall, the performance on the Alliance ROM is pretty good. So, definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. Uh, along with the theming and also if you want to get overclocking for the N9005 or if you have uh, T-Mobile or Canadian you can go ahead and install the compulsion kernel and go ahead and download the trickster mod app here this is my recommended uh, app for overclocking it uh, works on all of different uh, Android devices of course you'll need a custom kernel um, and go ahead and open it make sure you hit super user request here uh, if you don't have BusyBox installed, go ahead and install it real quick here. And you'll be able to overclock, I think, to 2.67 gigahertz, which is nice. Um, for this one, just go ahead and install. And this will install it. Now we'll be able to use the Trickster mod to uh, overclock. There we go. Yeah. And once you have Trickster mod open, go to General here. And if you go down here, uh, you can set this up to 2.6496, so it's 2.65 gigahertz. And it's actually pretty stable. You can actually go up to like 2.76, like we've seen with infamous ROM before. Also, make sure you set on boot kernel settings there. Otherwise, when you reboot your phone, it's going to default to the default 2.3 gigahertz instead. Now, that will make your phone super fast, uh, much zippier. Um, if when you're playing graphic intensive games, it's going to be great for hardcore gamers out there. Uh, but it, you know, if you don't need it, this ROM is fast out of the box. Um, so don't overclock if you, unless you absolutely need it. And also you can just overclock when you're playing those games. Overall, this is a great TouchWiz ROM for those of you beginners just getting into custom ROMing. Uh, very good. And also for those of you who want to customize, customize the hell out of your phone. Um, very good ROM as you can see all these different customizations, overclocking. All that good stuff. And Wi-Fi Tether, again, should be working for all the variants uh, for at and T-Mobile especially. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. I got kind of long, but uh, definitely check it out. If you have any of these Note 3 models, go check my site. And make sure you check the installation instructions for the T-Mobile and Canadian. I've removed the script where it actually formats your whole internal system when you're installing international ROMs. So it won't do that, but you do have to format system because I took that script out. Um, for uh, clock mod recovery, if you go to, uh, I think, Mountain Stores, yeah, Mountain Stores, there's a menu called Format System. So do that before installing a ROM. 
And also for twerp recovery, uh, if you go to wipe menu, there's a menu called advanced wipe. Go ahead and do wipe slash system and then install the ROM. This is only for uh, if you have T-Mobile, Canadian, uh, and also SMN9005. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. If you have a Note 3, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com and I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.